Man, I mean, just to know that Michael Myers will be here, Halloween is coming, for people to come down and see you, how much of a thrill is it to be here at Motor City Comic Con, especially with the movie opening? Oh my God, it's, it's, it's an honor, really. I mean, because the fans are amazing. And, and, and when you come to a place like this to see the cross-section of humanity, everybody gets along. I mean, you, every imaginable kind of person is here. And, and everybody's here for a shared passion, and I get to be a part of that. So how lucky am I? <laughs> It is great, but just the momentum that you have and people knowing that, oh my gosh, I can go watch him at the movie and then come meet him. What is the reaction like when you know people are going to see you in the theater, but then they get to see you up close and personal? Oh man, it's, it's a, what's really funny is how, how much insight a lot of the fans have, especially yeah. the kids, the questions they ask, the, 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 the things, the nuances they've seen in the film that I'm like, how did you see that, dude? <laughs> I mean, where'd that come from? You said you beat yourself up on this last film, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I would say, for someone who watches a film, for every time you see a baseball bat hit me or, or, or myself being kicked in the ribs, it happened a hundred more times that you didn't see. <laughs> so, uh, bruised ribs, a hematoma, you know, bone bruise, yeah. I mean, not to mention a few stitches. And then there's the fire. I mean, right. oh, boy, that was fun. When people come up to you, though, is there, it, when you see maybe kids and, and maybe you, you see a parent whispering and understand who it is, do you see a little fright before they ultimately meet the guy that you are? No, it's the adults who are afraid. <laughs> the kids, the kids have no fear. It's amazing. And some of the kids just stare at you, you know, and it's, it's so sweet, man. So you're not done, right? There's, there's another one coming and then yeah. you'll reprise your role? Yeah, I've, I've actually started training for, for the next role because, I mean, I have to physically train for these roles. So I've started training. We start shooting January 10th, which is not far away. Uh, Detroit sports, long lineage here. Any sports for you that, that, that stick out, a team for you that sticks out? They, 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 maybe when you come to a city like this that you go, oh, I, I remember that memory or a Barry Sanders run, anything like that that sticks out to you? Well, dude, I, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio, right? Yeah. So the Detroit Lions, you know, like, I mean, NFL football for me back in the day, and I played football as a kid, of course, you know. And so, so I would say the Detroit Lions, you know, and the Cleveland Browns, and, you know, go yeah. back to those Pittsburgh Steelers and everything. So... Yeah, those, those rivalries back in the day were awesome. Lovable losers, right? There are teams. you got to love them. And <laughs> know, maybe one, right? Cleveland's closer than I think any of those three right now, so maybe you'll have something to cheer for. But it took half a lifetime, man. Yeah. <laughs> you I know. appreciate you. Great meeting you, man. Yeah, Thanks for being you here. You as well, Detroit. my friend. Yeah. Absolutely.